Welcome! In this video, I will look at two DAX expressions relating to the rounding of figures which can be used in Power BI. I will look at int and trunk. I will start with int and the first thing I'm going to do is go to Microsoft's documents relating to the int function in DAX. Looking at int, it rounds a number down to the nearest integer or whole number. The syntax is int, then a number, with number being the number you want to round down, and it returns a whole number. Let's see that in practice. So if I go to Power BI, in Power BI, I have set up a table and it contains five different locations and I've assigned each location a temperature. These are just figures I've made up for the purposes of this example. But in each case, the place always ranges from the same digits, positive, to the same digits, but with the negative symbol in front. I have created a separate measure called temperature, being the maximum of this column here. Let's have a look at our int DAX expression. So we know to put int and then we need to put in a number. So our number is going to be our temperature here, which is now contained within a measure. If I now add int, to the table, what should happen is that the temperature figure should round down to the nearest whole number. Place 1 has rounded down to 10 and place 1 with the minus figure has rounded down to minus 11. So that looks like our DAX expression is performing as expected. So to summarise with int, int always rounds down to the nearest whole number. Let's now move on to trunk. Returning to Microsoft's documents, it says trunk truncates a number to an integer or a whole number by removing the decimal or fractional part of the number. So all we do is we take trunk, we put in a number, and then we can put in num digits. Let's have a look at what each of these relate to. So the term number is the number you want to truncate. And num digits is a number specifying the precision of the truncation. And if you don't put in a figure there, it will be zero. So that means it will just cut off all the decimal point places. And it returns a whole number. Returning to Power BI, I have set up a measure called trunk and into trunk, I have put my temperature measure and nothing else. Therefore, what I'm looking to do is make sure that everything to the right of the decimal point is cut away. In other words, truncated. So let's add trunk to the table. As you can see, the numbers after the decimal point have been removed, leaving us with a whole number. In the Microsoft documents, we saw that you could add a figure to the num digits field, and that's what I will do now. So what happens if we put a number into the num digits section? Well, it moves at the point of truncation to before or after the decimal point. And the number it moves by is dependent upon the figure in the num digits section. Here I'm just looking to move the truncation by one place. So I have set up a new measure called trunk1. As you can see for number I still have my temperature and then for the num digits section I've got the digit 1 in here. And because in this project I'm looking for all my figures to be whole numbers I have set the measure to be whole number in format. If I now add that to my table, you can see that in some cases the value in the trunk 1 column differs to that in the trunk column. In this project, I'm always looking to return a whole number 
However, it is possible to show the trunk with the decimal place still available. In a separate measure called trunk one deck, I have the format shown as decimal number, which contrasts to the measure trunk one, whereby the format was a whole number. Let's pull trunk one deck into the table. As you can see, the column appears with the figures truncated to one decimal place. But for this video, I'm using whole numbers, so I'll remove that extra column from this table. Returning my attention back to the trunk one column. If, for example, we look at place five, by putting one into num digits, we have shifted the truncation to one position after the decimal point. So instead of truncating at the decimal point, we truncate between the seven and the five, such that the five gets cut off. As we need a whole number, the 12.7 gets rounded up to 13. Hence, under trunk, we have 12, but under trunk with one in the num digits section, we end up with 13. Let's now see what happens if we put minus one instead into the num digits section. So here I have a new measure and all I've done is change the one to a minus one. Let's now add that to our table. If again we go down and look at place 5, we can see that when we put minus 1 into num digits, that the value returned is 10. How does this arise? Well, if we look at our 12.75, as we have minus 1, we are truncating one digit before the decimal point. So we are truncating between the 1 and the 2. So the 1 remains and then all the other trailing figures, being the 2.75, need to be cut away to replace the 2 with a 0. Hence, the value becomes 10 or minus 10. As you can see, for place 5, that then gives us with trunk of 12, trunk 1 of 13 and for trunk minus 1 a 10. So that's quite a variety. So really be careful if you're using trunk with a figure within the num digits section. If we look at another example with regards to trunk with the minus 1 num digits, for place 3 it means that the truncation occurs before we get to the digit 9, where we've got this 9.51. So 9.51 gets cut away. The 9 needs to be replaced with a 0. So overall, our result in the trunk minus 1 column is 0. In summary, trunk with just a number parameter means we just cut off the decimal places. Trunk with the num digits parameter moves the location of where the truncation takes place. There are other DAX expressions which you can choose from when rounding figures. For example, ceiling, floor, round, round up, round down, and M round, to name a few. And I will cover these DAX expressions in separate videos. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to hear more from me, please click the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.